Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Devin Hughes reacts. We're gonna react to 10 wrestling stars you didn't know were gay. Original video will be in the link in the description. And now, chit chat, let's react. <clears throat> the LGBTQ community has grown strong and proud in all aspects of Hollywood. In sports entertainment world, don't it's forget the same. politics. There too. are many wrestlers and superstars who identify as LGBTQ. Although you may not know it, some of the wrestlers used WWE programming to come out to the public, while others did it quietly after their career had ended. Check out some of the wrestling stars you may not have realized were LGBTQ. Page on WWE TV, Page hmm. showcases a tough attitude like and great skills. But... Outside the ring, fans truly get to know her on, on E's Total Divas. It was during this show where Paige casually revealed that she identified as bisexual. The shocker was followed up by a kiss that she shared with Rosa Mendez. Currently, Paige is dating former WWE superstar Alberto Del Rio and has flaunted their relationship numerous times on social media. Pat Patterson, the first intercontinental hmm. champion of all time, may also be one of the oldest openly gay pro wrestlers employed by the WWE. While Rumors had swirled around for years. Patterson came out publicly on the WWE Network show Legends House, speaking with former WWE superstars like Roddy Piper and Jim Duggan. Patterson bravely came out of the closet and revealed that he was gay. His fellow legends fully supported him and helped him create a serious moment on the often goofy reality show Chris Canyon. Chris Canyon had a memorable career in both WCW and WWE. He held multiple championships and had feuds with wrestlers like DDP and The Undertaker. After leaving the WWE in early 2000s, Canyon revealed to the public that he was gay. He wrote about the struggles of keeping his secret in a memoir, but his depression and emotional problems were just too much, as Canyon tragically took his own life in 2010. The Grand Wizard of Ernie Rock. Before managers like Paul Heyman and Paul Bearer, fans were entertained by the flashy Grand Wizard. Ernie Roth managed wrestlers like Sergeant Slaughter and Cowboy Bob Orton, often wearing outlandish costumes and parading around the ring. After his passing, family and friends revealed that Roth was openly gay, but he did not express this to the wrestling community. The Grand Wizard was a true inspiration for wrestling managers and was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 1995. Matt Cage. Quick to rise on the independent scene, Matt Cage had won several championships in promotions like UWC and Dynasty Pro Wrestling. After years of being in the closet, Cage used his public Facebook page to come out as gay to his fans and wrestling community. He originally feared getting rejected by wrestling fans, but his post had been embraced, and Cage continues to wrestle all around the world to this day. Daria Bernardo. The 2015 season of Tough Enough featured numerous new talents and many memorable moments. Daria used the Tough Enough stage to reveal that she was a lesbian. Even though she was eliminated fairly early on, Daria would receive a developmental contract from WWE and currently trains with the NXT roster. WWE clearly saw something special in her and she could make her television debut any day now. China. China was a huge force mm. in the WWE oh, yeah. and had been in several oh, public yeah, she was relations was definitely bisexual, all right. And Xbox, the ninth wonder of the world, when it had comes rumored to the porn also business, to be bisexual. She was. These rumors are mostly based on her appearance with other females in various films and dad, though. events. Sadly, China passed away in 2016, but her inspiration and legacy for other female wrestlers will live on. Orlando Jordan. Orlando All right. played it straight to the series as an integral part of JBL's cabinet during his tenure in the I I waited to get to this part. When I heard about Orlando Jordan, I did not know who he was in the WWE when you I mean I mean he was just, you know, a jobber. Um They didn't really have anything going on for him though uh, in the WWE so when he left I haven't heard from him because I didn't care for him but once I saw him in TNA I quickly noticed how fat sexually he was the way he came out doing his interest always looking a lighty pop looking a sucker um uh, a perm in his hair. Like he was acting very fruity-ish. And looking back at it now, I realized that he is actually gay. And it shocked me now that you think about it. Shortly after the former United States champion left the WWE, he came out publicly as bisexual. He joined TNA, and the company used his sexuality for several storylines. I was right. Lines in his I was right. Though so that oddly meant him harassing male wrestlers in an angle he did not enjoy. After leaving TNA, Jordan married a woman and currently runs a wrestling school in Australia, Rosa Mendez. Rosa Mendez was once obsessed with Beth Phoenix oh, yeah, on screen, yeah. but she kept her bisexuality hidden off screen until taping episodes of Total Divas. Despite getting turned down by Paige, Mendez proudly showcased her attractions to both male and female and offered inspiration for any 
fun fans of the show. She is now married and has a child with a male entrepreneur named Bobby Darren Young. Wow. Oh yeah. I heard about this dude too, about Darren, Darren Young being Young gay. In an interview with TMZ, like, Young came like, out to the world four years ago. is WWE's first active and openly gay male wrestler. Young's honesty got a lot of headlines, including an interview on The Ellen Show. He is still part of the WWE roster and has been an inspiration to many other performers like Matt Cage and Daria Bernardo. Well, there you go, guys. Were you surprised by any of these entries? Have you drawn inspiration uh, from any of these braves? There were a few things I was surprised by, like Paige being bisexual, Orlando Joint being bisexual, but he ended up marrying a female. Uh... Hey, good for him, but here's my overall thoughts about people coming out as LGBT. Whether you, whether you have a child or not, you got to love them, no matter who they are, regardless. You can't judge them for who they are. But if there's something that's going on, I mean, I mean, at least you could do is just help them out. You know, help them get through whatever it is that they're getting through. It maybe just made me they'll, you know, figure out how to turn their lives around. But regardless, though, um, whether your child is gay or not, you got to love them regardless. So, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Subscribe, comment down below, and, and let's get the like button. It's your boy, Daniel Reacts. And I will see you later. Peace.